Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. oh. That might be coins. Box of gold and silver. That looks like an army crate down there. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Is this there goes another one. That's what? Four guns so far? I just paid $1,000 for this abandoned storage unit. You know why? I've been up for auction four times and I've been the high bidder all four times and it always gets canceled the day of. I was going to win it no matter what it went for. I've had some really good luck at this facility here, so I'm feeling kind of good about this. This box, you can kind of see. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You can kind of see it was empty in the picture. Look what I do got. Woo. <laughs> This is a Jeebus size skull. Oh my god. It's about the size of my head. Yeah, a little bit, almost. I thought it was styrofoam, but it's really heavy actually. I don't know what the heck it does. It's definitely not just to sit there. Look at the bottom. It's got a battery pack or something. Yeah. I don't know what it does. Let's start going in the that's an instruction manual. Yeah. What does this one say? Oh, it has something on it. RDS. RDS what? Mm. Wires and cords. Eh, <laughs> if they have a lot of game systems, they're gonna have a lot of wires and cords. So whoa. Oh, that is. That is definitely a lot. That is a whole lot. Look at this. There is eh, an Xbox cable right there. That's the modern logo too. That's a good sign. Man, holy crap. All the way to the bottom. Ooh, look, there's stuff at the bottom. Controllers. First off, what is this? A router? Neck area. Yeah. I do see Xbox controller. These are three Xbox 360 controllers though right here. And uh, anything else down there? A little walkie-talkie. What's on the walkie-talkie? Eh, nothing, just a plain one. But okay, that's a good sign. That's pointing to what we're looking for in here is gonna be in here. Is that another one? Another Xbox 360 one. That one's kind of gross though. Another thing that got me interested is that looks like an army crate down there. So we do have that. One thing that almost scared me away is they showed in the picture this Wii U box says books on it. So that's kind of scary because usually when somebody, you don't usually find four books in a unit. They have books. They have books. Oh, look at this. That's the Funimation. They work with Dragon Ball. And oh, God. oh look, there's phone boxes. There's phone, there's a lot of books in here though. But now that doesn't feel like it's gonna be in there. Samsung S10, but it could have parts in it. If it'll come open. <laughs> if it'll come open. Big if. <laughs> Empty box. And well, it's got something in it, not a phone. It's got a SIM card and a little few pieces in there. Look, there's a SIM card there. In a ooh, that these, these are good for nosy people like me, because I like to see what they got going on. We'll figure that out. And then books. What's this here? Something's in here. Is it razor? Yeah, wall. And what is that little electric piece? Come here. Mm, part of a razor. This box here says GameCube on the side, but it's also with all the book boxes. Oh, it also says Bionicle parts. Oh my gosh, you remember Bionicles. I would almost be happy with that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is my childhood. I play with these things so much. They're kind of like, I don't even know, like an off-brand of Lego. You can make a bunch of figures, and weapons, and monsters. These are cool. Odd, and they're old and nostalgic, so I don't know if there's a market for that. I think it's the first time I found them like that. Fingers crossed. The going rate on eBay for these Bionicle Mix part lots seems to be $20 a pound, and this box is over 14 pounds. A nice $280 in there. Go to the box next to the one that says books. Oh yeah, and I'm knocking stuff over. That looks like a cash register, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, I guess cash register tray. Yeah, maybe they had a store or something. Let's see, first box. <laughs> I'm feeling good right now. Ooh, Xbox games. Yes. Pirates of the Caribbean right here. This looks like a um, PC game, maybe. It, wears, it looks like it should open right there, doesn't it? Yeah. But it doesn't. Okay. Well, there's that. Is there a barcode on it? I'll scan that in a second. What are these? These are oh, these are True Blood DVDs. Okay. There's one. Uh oh. There's a lot of True Blood right there. Uh oh. Come on, baby. This will tell us everything we need to know right here. It's in there. I think we're about to do really good. Let's see. Come on. What, what is that? Medical kit? Like a medic kit? Heal yourself? I think, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess you can say it's some kind of medical kit. I mean, it does say actual medical right there. I mean, that's a health herb. And we'll, call it, we'll call it a health herb. <laughs> Couple X. Ooh, PSP. What is that? Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh my God. That's in there. The initial need for me. <laughs> PSP need for speed. Aw. Okay, so we're at 50 50 right now. PUBG. Oh no. Don't just give me the top one. What about Goku? No, he's not in there, but I already had this one. So yeah. <laughs> no big deal. What about this right here? Kid Next? What? Kid Connects. Oh, Kid Connects. Let's I see. I remember Connects. Ooh. Oh, that's not kid stuff. No, but it's an old iPhone right here. Another old phone. What is this guy? Like a power bank. Look at the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare dog tag. And a lighter. Okay. Now the big thing in this box is if this is in there. Ooh, that's not light. That's not light. You, you know what? 
I stopped buying Nintendo products after the Game Boy, so I don't know what this thing's supposed to weigh, to be honest with you. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, it's not that, but it is full of figures. We got That's Stitch. a game, right? Is it? Woody? Yeah, something like that. It looks like Disney characters, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. I didn't even notice that there was lighter fluid in there. And this, it, come here, you other jar. Oh, that's what the lighter fluid's for, huh? Like 50 lighters, and there's another film-looking canister, which I'm gonna guess is not film that needs to be developed. So here's the Wii U box with some labeled books, and yeah, unless this Wii U's made of granite, I think the whole books guess is right, but it could be like anime manga, game guides, or a whole bunch of things. No telling what it is by just saying books. Ooh, Pokemon, that, that, that's good. Is it, what's the other one? Are these actually game guides? I was just guessing based on the other stuff. Oh, they're all Pokemon game guides, aren't they? Pokemon, Pokemon, oh, Pokemon, Pokemon. And last two, Pokemon, Pokemon. That, that's really good stuff. What about the little guy here? Pokemon handbook. So we don't have a game console, but we have a bunch of Pokemon books. I'll take it. Let's get these other couple little boxes down here. Ooh, this one, all I see is O-Y-S. There's only one word I think that fits that. <laughs> and that's stuck with a T in front of it. Yep, told it. <gasps> Tech decks too. Oh my gosh. Look at these old school tech deck boards. Those are sick. Definitely a bunch of old school toys in there. More tech deck in here. I don't know what that dude is. It looks like a Pokemon. There he is. No, look. it is from Pokemon. I couldn't tell for that angle. He's beat up. Lots of, oh my gosh. Please tell me you know what these are. Mighty, Mighty beans. beans. Mighty Beans are on the scene. This, my, this is like a whole like 90s like time capsule. Look at, um. what's his name? Blastoise. Blastoise. Oh man, this is... There's all Pokemon down here. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon toys, a lot of Mighty Beans. I'm gonna go to the other side. Let's see. Is it all kind of the same stuff? Oh yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon, like you said. Look at that. A lot of Pokemon toys. This is gonna be an expensive box, especially the Mighty Beans. I think I see Mewtwo, too. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. He's dirty, though. But, you know, we can clean these up, and I bet you they're worth a pretty penny. Pokemon's like one of the most highly desirable anything in the world. I'm taking two little boxes here. Let's see. This one says top decor slash bionicle cases. This one says nothing. What's in the random? Oh, those are all Blu-rays. That's pretty nice right there. Let's just take one out and see if it's in there. Nice. That's about, I mean, Blu-rays always sell for at least a dollar to a piece. That's at least $30, $40 in just Blu-rays. And this one that says bionicle, I have a knife in my pocket, guys. You believe this? I am prepared. This happens once every thousand years. And it is, ooh. I see an iPhone box. Oh, two of them. These, there's an advanced warfare controller down there. This does actually not feel light. What's in there? <gasps> tech decks, you know what? I will take tech decks over an Apple product because they're like basically bricks. You can't get into them. So they're kind of just always sold for part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These tech decks right here, all that, that's money. What about this advanced warfare controller box? Definitely not a controller, but it's not empty. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, open up, open up. Oh, it's the ramp for the tech decks. That's pretty sick, actually. So this is all tech deck stuff down here. And then what you do, yep, yeah, these are the containers. Oh my gosh. These are what those, the big box found of all the pieces. This is how they used to come right here. And I don't know what's in there. It's actually more Bionicle pieces. So we're gonna have a lot of Bionicle stuff. That's good money. Before I grab more totes or more boxes, I just wanna say, look at that. Stack of totes, stack of totes, stack of totes. We have a lot of stuff to go. We're going through this whole thing right now, right now. So we got, Oh yes, the complete works of William no. Shakespeare. No. PTSD of high school. If you ever just like capture somebody in your hostage and you want to get information out of them, just make them read William Shakespeare. I would just give you whatever you need to know. This says more Bionicles, so let's see. Cut it open and find out real quick. You know what else I like? Okay. Nice shipping label right here with our dude's name and address. I like to do research. I'm a creep. Sorry. <laughs> let's see. Go into here and let's open this side up. There's, oh, there are more Bionicles. My gosh, I used to play with these so much. Look at that. These are sealed. Oh, no, they're not sealed. You know what I want to do? Actually, I was about to say scan them, but this storage facility has a dead zone. I can't even get enough service to send a text message, but there's a red one, a blue one, a green one. There's just a little book, and there is a little book too. American Virtues number two. Oh, whoa. whoa. That's sick. That's an God We Trust knife. That is really cool. I thought that was a book. And that's, I guess that's why we open everything, huh? So we have a TV box, which I could see was not a TV, but I am curious to see what's in there because it's a pretty big box. So whatever it's storing, it's probably storing a lot of it. Ugh. Turn it over this way. Let's cut this duct tape right down the middle, just like that. Well, this looks like all gaming posts. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
Let's see, are these all like gaming posters? Let's see. Some of these are worth money. I mean, a certain gaming poster is like $20 a piece online if it's like an old game. Like this, Titanfall. This one I bet you is worth at least $10 or $15 on its own just on eBay. And it's rolled up. Okay, so it's just one. My question is, I'm gonna open a couple more. Are they all the same poster? Or are they all different games? Is they're all different games? Some what? kind of cardboard cutout right there. Really? Let's see. Oh, it's Star Wars. Check that out. That's cool. Nice. These are all, this dude might have worked at GameStop or knew somebody to work at GameStop because remember these? Yeah. These are the displays they turn into boxes like this. <laughs> and they used to go on the wall. We used to have a lot dumpster of these. Dumpster diving experience. GameStop dumpster diving 101. <laughs> we used to have a bunch of those. And people will pay like 15, sometimes $30, depending on the game for that thing on eBay. So what is this one? I just want to see if it's the same game. Titanfall. It is. So you might have. He might have just got a bunch from GameStop. Maybe this dude is a GameStop dumpster diver. Maybe. Could have been a very public possibility. I'm gonna open up just one more. If this one's Titanfall, then we're gonna assume they're all Titanfall. This one is, absolutely is, but it's a different poster, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there might be a bunch of Titanfall posters in there. What about like that, Mortal Kombat? So just a lot of gaming memorabilia in there. If you haven't left this video a thumbs up yet, what are you doing? Make sure you help us. We're in a good roll right now. Ugh. Come on, maybe not with storage units. This one's good though, so far. <laughs> but everything else, CDs, decor, is going great. Oh, <laughs> what about this? Dang it, that would have been worth a bit of money if that was in there, but that's an empty box. Uh, these look like more type of like Bionicle creatures. And we have CDs. Hey look, there's the old Slim Shady LP. <laughs> Let's see if it's in there. Yay, that's in there, that's cool. There's, <laughs> who has Eminem and then Trace Atkins? Like what a weird combination of music. Okay, so a bunch of music CDs on this side. And these are just random figures, like a wolf. That's pretty cool. That looks old school right there. What else is down there? Some more musical CDs over there. So these are good boxes. I forgot I brought out two boxes. This one here, what is that? PS4 game, let's see if it, oh, well, it's got DVDs in there, but at least they're in there. That's a good thing. What else is down here though? This is, man, this guy, OG Kush. It literally says on there. OG Kush. That's not even me trying to be funny. <laughs> OG Kush right there. What is this stuff? Whoa, what is this? Well, power charger. This here? I don't even know. Some kind of battery pack. Then what? what is this? One of those <laughs> phone holders? I think so. Oh, it goes just... on your, around your neck, I think. Okay. And then a phone holder. Snapback hats. That's All cool. Marvel. That's pretty cool. And then in here, what is this? A mouse pad? Big old mouse pad. Where? It says phones on it so i'm kind of curious where phones are what is that an old camera listen you think that's just what's inside or you think he put something could have put something in here could have put something in here i don't know i don't know how to open it i don't want to break it so old camera what about this guy this looks like a rolled up mouse pad yeah this is one of those big like nerdy you know gaming computer mouse pads i know because i have one this here tablet okay voyager three he paid 10 bucks for it oh here's some phones look right here Ugh. Eh, they're not like smartphones. One is. Looks like a couple older ones though. And another phone. What's this guy? Verizon? Is that what's in there? Where does the box open? Right here? It is what's in there. Wow. So yeah, a bunch of phones down here. Is this one a phone? No, that's just a case. I'm taking the top box off the middle. Oh, that's got weight in it. I'm just glad these aren't empty. Come on, cool stuff. Oh, oh no, no way. Please give me the gold cards. Please no give me the way. gold cards. Please, please, please. No. That was supposed to be Charizard too. Open that. Come on. Got the ball. Got the ball. Oh, that one's heavier than the other one. Come on. No. Oh, where is it? We got one more chance. Come on. Ah, this is empty. It feels God, like the other. So crazy they're so looking. Nostalgic, I know. Why haven't I even like seen one in person? Like Spray up paint? this close for a while. <gasps> there they are. I see them. Oh look, Assassin's Creed first of all, and then another Assassin's Creed, and then yeah, look right here. Here they are. Hey. There's Pikachu. And there is Charizard nice. right there. These are like, I think, 20, 25 bucks a piece, with the, especially with the ball. So that's like an easy $50 on those. Just a little Wii stand. Mm -hmm. And there's a the little, uh, what's his name? Lightning McQueen Infinity Book. All right. And Infinity stuff. There's more. Oh, no way. That's Mewtwo. And that's another Charizard. <laughs> that's probably 100 bucks right there, just the Pokemon card. Heck yes. Nice. Nothing else over here. So we got to keep going inside here. I don't think I've, I don't know how much they go for actually with the box, the yeah, ball and know. the card. It might be more than 25. I don't know. Ooh, maybe they got guns. So they have a lot of spray paint <laughs> and a lot of bottles. Um, let's see what's down in here. Let's get this bag out. Eh, slowly. Okay. There we go. 
Oh, that's all colored pencil and drawing stuff, which at least makes me feel better about them having spray paint, because maybe they were using it for actual art, not, you know, graffiti. I mean, since that box is so cool, I might as well put the one under it. <laughs> yeah, if keep going finding, in the middle. <laughs> if we're finding the gold Pokemon cards, where are the real ones? I mean, this looks like a time capsule from the 90s. I know. Ooh, let's see here. What is this? It's just a bag with nothing inside. inside. This is just a teddy bear. There is an Amazon tablet, uncracked at least. You know how you know it's uncracked? What you oh. usually do is you look at the back, and if you see an apple here, mm -hmm. it's probably gonna be cracked and worthless. But if you don't, usually it won't be. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. That's a big boy there. Some Michael Myers slash Jason Voorhees type stuff here. That's a pretty knife. <laughs> what else is under this office stuff? Ooh, what's here? This is like a little pocket Bible, but it's full of stuff. Is this gonna be the one time we find money in a Bible finally? No, it's got a bunch of personal stuff in there, so we'll leave this for them to get back. And that's just some polish. You know, with it being 95 and me sweating, I thought what I really needed was a heater. That yeah. was made in like 1942, you know? Look at that beautiful thing. I mean, a couple months nice. from now, this is gonna be worth $5. Right now, I'd have to give somebody five bucks to get rid of it for me, because it's so hot here in Virginia. This box, nah. Uh, it's got weight to it, but I don't think I do have an Xbox One, and that weight does not feel right. So it's probably, unfortunately, maybe books, but maybe not. Come on, Xbox. Come on, Xbox. Oh, no, not books, just toys. Okay, what is that? What is this? This is the question. What the heck is Molten. that? Molten. What? Molten cocktail. Is it a Molten cocktail? I mean, I don't know. It's an old Dr. Pepper bottle. Look at Why it. Why are you made like that? Look at the warping. I feel like somebody had to like blow this, like glass blowing. They put laid with the bottle, or maybe it's like a accident that came from the factory. I don't know. This is weird. I bought a touch. Aw. What about this Xbox One controller? That's not in there. I can tell you. And down here is another phone. Is that old phone? More toys. Yeah, it's a nice phone. An old walkie-talkie and some more Pokemon. You know what these are? These are what go on the oh, foot yeah, yeah. of the figures like that Goku we found earlier. So that means they might have some more anime figures in there. I'm gonna grab this little box in the Wii U box. Oh, that is heavy. That is heavy. Oh, you know what it says on the top? Huh. Look, Xbox. Xbox, maybe. We'll see in a second. But first, this <clears> says <throat> movies and TV. You have a TV in there? I'd be impressed. So there are some movies, there's some more Blu-rays, a couple actual DVDs. That's easy money right there, say 10 bucks. Come on, have an Xbox in here, that would be cool. Come on, Wii U. Uh, nah, it's more books. But are they Pokemon or something books? No, these are game guides though. Gears of War 3 and Borderlands 2. Those are both video games. The other ones, not so much. Let's get these fishing poles down before I knock them over. Is it just one in pieces? Yeah, it's a big boy. Try not to hook myself. There is, it's pretty dirty, but you know, if you're catching dirty fish by a river, it's not exactly gonna be clean, so. There's a fishing pole, set that right there. And now, let's go to this thing here. First off, ooh, these are Halo books. There's a couple, three of the Halo books. Nice. That's pretty cool. Look at this little black container here. It's like stuck in there. That doesn't sound good. I have a feeling that I know what's, yep, that's exactly what I thought. This guy was getting high, as you know <laughs> what. Let's look up here at these records. We have, this one is in there. I'm just gonna flip up a few. Oh, is that Elvis? Is that Elvis? Look, yep. Elvis Golden Records, Elvis back in Memphis. Okay, okay. I mean, these are all way before my time. I'm born in 1994, so I couldn't tell you, but it does look like they're all in there, so I bet you that's easy money too. Now I'm gonna get this thing out here. It looks like it could be a drawer to a dresser or something. Let's see. Ugh. So, little light show, blessings, hope, faith. Christmas decorations, wax melter. Uh-oh, it looks like we have sketch pads. Like a lot of drawing pads. How good were they? Ooh, oh no. Whoa. That, it's not, it's just the freaking Blu-ray covers. They have like almost all of Dragon Ball Z. One, there's nine seasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there other ones? Okay, they got Super 2, man, look at this. This is like all of Dragon Ball here <laughs> on Blu-ray. We already have them all, but maybe we can find them somewhere else. There's um, Jiren. Look at this Ninja Turtle comic book. That looks old. More of these. More of these. Where are the actual DVDs, though? These are old gun magazines down here, aren't they? That's making me feel really hyped about this little army crate down here. Yeah. Gun magazines. Look at these old comics. Whoa. They are not in the greatest shape at all, but they are old. Man, half of them don't even have covers, huh? This could be Action Comics number one for all I know, and I have no idea because they don't have no covers. What about down here? Uh, 
Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., they're so destroyed. It's so sad because some comic books are worth so much money. I mean, some of them are in the millions. And I don't know what we have because they're just beat to death. Look at that. That one's not too bad. But, ugh. Oh, my gosh. If you're a comic book fan right now, I feel like you're cringing watching this. And I'm not even a comic book fan, but I'm also kind of cringing looking at this. So, there's a bunch of comics. What about over here? Are these more magazines and stuff? Oh, yeah. Just a bunch of more comics. But, again, they're all missing their covers. This is just a nice little wooden shelf that will go at our yard sale for a dollar, probably. Nice. That goes right there. But now we can kind of... Should I go to the book bag? We haven't gone to a book bag yet. Sure. But there is... Oh, look. There's another box and an Xbox controller box behind it. Okay. You know, we found, like, video game everything except for video games. <laughs> Pretty much, like, everything else you can find. Attachments, con like, <laughs> pieces, We comics. found one video game oh, yeah, we did. case. The That's Xbox true. one. That is true. We got one. I want to open up these front pieces. The top one is empty. This one is also empty, but inside, it's just a blanket. Better be something <laughs> wrapped one in One comforter. Yeah, so like I have to bring this bag with me on the plane. It's a major importance. One blanket. Is it in there? No. Nah. This is an empty box. Or nice color though. At least it's not a controller. Yeah, no controller in there. Empty. Let's go for this guy right here. This feels so light. Like it weighs almost nothing. What the heck is it? But it's taped up. Something's in there. But what is it? Where'd I put the... Here we go. It is... What the heck? There's tape on both sides. There we go. A box with a box. What's in a box? Mm. It's just a box of boxes that are empty. That makes a lot of sense. Now let's bring out this wooden shelf here. Is there stuff on there? Yeah, probably. It's taped up with a box. Okay. That's weird. What the heck's stopping it? What is that? I don't know. Uh, something's not letting me pull this out. <laughs> What in the heck? Is that part of the door? I have no idea what that is. Okay, that's weird. But on here, oh, Un I see a spear, I think. Is that what that is? Whoa. Whoosh. Spartans. <laughs> this just brought my primal instinct. Let's we'll go right now. Ah, and just start hunting stuff. Let's see, can I cut the tape? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Let me see if I can get to the knife in here. I'm still so <laughs> curious what this black thing is and why it's just so hell-bent on keeping me from moving this thing out of the unit. Get this, this, and this. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, oh, oh, no, look. There's the end There's of it. There's the other side. Inevitable, but what's not inevitable, fair enough, that need that piece actually. <laughs> This piece goes on here, and it allows this to go in here after you put it all together. And then we have a full-on spear with a razor tip. That's pretty sick. Put that over what here. What does the blade look like on that? On this? Yeah. Pretty cool, actually. Look at that. Oh, it looks nice. nice. This? Okay, that's actually sharp. What else is in here? I don't know. A table. And it looks like pieces of a desk or something that they shoved in there. Pink box, pink box. Oh yeah, underwear. That's what I came for. That's what I came for. Sounds interesting. Where'd the blade go? Here it is. It's like oh. taped on the other side, but open over here too. Okay, okay well, tape. On that, in that case, we'll just open it. Let's see what we got. We have a lot of, ooh, these are um, Game Boy, or not Game Boy, PS, DS. DS. I was gonna say every handheld <laughs> console except first. There it is. Aliens, Mega <clears throat> Constructs, okay. Okay, this here, I don't know. I can't pretend to know. These are just cases though. Like, I wonder if they're all just cases. This dude's giving me definitely, like I used to go GameStop dumpster diving vibes. Yeah. These are a bunch of CDs, but they throw away cases all the time and you can sell them. Like I remember multiple times we'd list like 50 to 60 cases on Craigslist back then and people would pay like a hundred plus dollars for them every time. Well, this is just screws, tacks, office stuff. Glasses container, is it actually glasses in there? Yes, it is, surprisingly. A bunch of cigarette packs, PD. Yeah, nothing too interested in there. Another pink underwear box. What do we got in this one? Movies? Oh, they're not lying either. These are all Blu-ray. I mean, you're talking like $2 a piece. There's gotta be at least 50 in here, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I wonder at least. if the Dragon Ball ones are in here. There's probably more than 50. I'm just gonna pull some out. Space Jam. Okay, let's just open the ones that are on top. Get back in there, you fuck that. You don't wanna cooperate, it's fine. Please? In there. So, I mean, this is probably a $150 box, I'd say, with no problem. That army box. I have to change those gun magazines, man. Let's 
it's looking very enticing. You see Play-Doh on the top of it too? Mm -hmm. Doesn't this look like from the right angle? Like if you look at it from here, it could be one of those old safes. Yeah. But it's actually plastic. I don't really know what it is. I'm about to find out. It's got stuff in it. Is it just like a drawer system? Um, is this open? Is it upside down? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Ew. What? Well, oh, wow. There's comics in there too. It looks like. Are these comics? These are like game maps and stuff. But Pokemon. Okay, so this is the stuff we can look through off camera because this is where you find money. Remember the first time we found like a significant amount of money in a unit? It was in paperwork like that. Look at my dude's ID. He looks like he could possibly be my brother. I'm not even joking. I can't show you his picture, but he looks like he could be related to me. Um, not seeing much else in there. What about down here? Is there a second drawer? I think it both came, they both came out. Oh, okay. So it's just paperwork. I just want to point out something hilarious. I'm sitting here looking at this guy's ID. Born 1994. Me too. White male. Me too. He's six foot three, six foot five. We're pretty freaking close. Blue eyes, mine's more like greenish, but like I swear, me and this guy, just based off what I found, if I lived down here, we would have been buddies. I would 100% <laughs> know it. I'm 100%. I've tried to wait long enough. Let's get this out the way first. What about the book bag? Then we'll move the laundry basket because I want to see what's in the green crate. I really do. It's really starting to bother me. Anything in here? Nothing. This feels soft, so I feel like it's going to be clothing of some kind. Let's open it up and see. Yeah, yeah. Ew. This is all dirty laundry all the way through. We'll make sure before we just donate it, but yeah, it looks like clothes. Dirty, dirty clothes. I'll put that right there. Now the question is the Plano box. Oh, it's heavy. <sighs> this, this. Oh, I can't wait for you to open that. <laughs> all right. You ready? Yeah. I'm not gonna open it right now if you didn't like the video right now. I swear, like, I'm gonna use magic to stop it. There you go. Like it and make sure you're subscribed for more story here. Make sure that right. like button is blue let's or see. white. Okay. Now, what I was expecting was something. Is that like a touchscreen computer? Yeah. Let's see. An Acer TV screen. This here is just a toolbox. It's got some little pieces in there. A Dremel something in there. <clears throat> this here. Oh, this has got something wrapped up. What do you think is wrapped up in this blanket? I don't know. It is. Oh, oh, family pictures. pictures. Family pictures. We'll make sure. We'll leave it behind. Oh, no. Where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of it? <laughs> you can't have that in there. It's like completely taken apart. Look at this. Part of a monitor, I think. Okay, so there's kind of a gun. Part of a gun. Look at the weapons in here. Okay, that's not quite a weapon, mm -hmm. but it's something. But the other weapons in here. Oh my gosh, this is a sword? This is a straight scimitar. I think I it's a button. Oh, a button's okay. That's why it wouldn't come out. Makes sense. Whoa. What attack level do you need for a black scimitar again? I think 20. RuneScape people, correct me if I'm wrong with like this moth. <laughs> I think I have the attack level. There it is, it's down. It's gonna lower its HP. Ugh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is stupid. Black Still scimitar. Alive. Man, he He's took a coming. Function. It's not fair. Oh, I almost got him. All right, I'll tomahawk him. We have a tomahawk, another knife. Oh, what the heck is this? Whoa, does it like sit on your arm? It does. Look at this. Yeah, so you're right. It's strapped Whoa. onto your arm. Like this right here will wrap around your arm. <laughs> That's sick. Okay. That looks like part of the TV mount. Then we do have oh, a couple more knives down here. Let's open one. I want to see the condition of them. Pretty freaking nice. Elk Ridge. Nice brand. Nice knife. All right. Here goes a big boy too. Oh, look at that. We have so many knives in here. This is beautiful. This monster here. Oh, it looks like kind of a different scimitar. It says zombie hunter on it too. That, it wasn't guns, but I still say it's pretty sick. For my people that have knowledge of like historical guns, I'm trying to read what's written on this. It says either KI4 or K14 or K1A, something like that. And it's got the numbers down here, 9577. Seven, and you can tell that was written with the machine that wasn't just scraped in there or something. So if anyone knows that this, this can be like historically significant, definitely let us know down in the comments. This is well a very dirty, very broken fan. It's missing its base. No good to us right now. I found the base. Oh, I found it. Yay! <laughs> okay, now it just went from $1 to maybe two or three, realistically. This here, oh, what the heck? I thought this was an empty bag, but it's definitely not. Let's see. What's inside this guy? It looks like a tool bag. Oh! Troll. Troll, troll, troll. This is airsoft. Oh my gosh. Think it's got one in it? Come on. No, nothing in it. Oh my gosh. When you open it up, it did not look like that. 
There's a couple um, air rifle pellets. Well, nothing else in there, but we did find a 1911 now. Next tote right here. Ugh. Oh, this one's heavy. Eek. Come here. Come here. Okay, sit right there. Thank you. Oh, there's a computer, it looks like. That's what. Well, we have another Samsung phone and a tablet right off the bat. That's always good. This big old Acer desktop right here. The thing with these desktops are this could be worth $2 or $2,000. I have no idea. Brandon will tell me. He'll like restart it and look at the um, internals. Is this a laptop too? It definitely feels like one. Let's see. Give me a nice little Alienware. I, don't, I know you're a gamer, so I know you got an Alienware in here somewhere. Come on. Oh, no. That's an old Toshiba. Let's see. I mean, it's dirty, but it might still work. We'll see when we go through the desktop. What about this? Oh, these throwing knives? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure these are throwing knives. Yes, they are. This dude has some pretty cool stuff. I'm so glad we got this unit. I can't <laughs> lie. And I'll just look down there some more. Uh, let's see. The rest of it looks like a lot of wires. Definitely a lot of wires. Gaming headset right there. That's probably at least 10 bucks. Please. Yes. Oh. Something's got USB attachments. Maybe it's another router. Over here. Oh man, there's like a lot of there's some Minecraft toys down here. There's some armor. Ah, those the armor. Yeah, those are armor. And then over here. Ah. Yeah, some randomness. Cool stuff. Next to come here, big boy. Okay. Oh man, beanie babies. And a big old is it a pound puppy? Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like them. It. So oh look at this. One of these old starting lineups. Honor Arnold Palmer and just a bunch of beauty babies, which everybody for some reason thinks worth a lot of money, but they're really not. People still like them just to collect them, but if you're somebody selling it to you, telling you it's worth a lot of money, don't trust them. What I don't know what that is. But yeah, this whole thing is probably a hundred beanie babies, say 50 cents a piece. It's still 50 bucks. Let's go to this big old box right here. Ugh. I see stuff, that's for sure. I feel stuff. All right. What is in here? Ooh, a big old gaming headset right there. Just earphones. <clears throat> it's a heavy box if they're not in there. I know that much. They're new, aren't they? Wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting that right there. Some impulse. That's cool. Let's put it down here. And then we got, let's see. Are these pictures. Now this is just paperwork. This is a snap-on jacket. Their tools are really expensive, so maybe their jackets are too that's kind of i know people that like, use tools are like so proud of using tools <laughs> this is empty no well, down here oh look at the master chief whoa that is sick well it's got a bunch of wires attached to it but a giant halo master chief figure that is cool let's get him down here here's another one another one um, oh another oh look at these halo figures those are so sick. They're just old and dusty because they've been in here for who knows how long. Those are sick. What is this? Uh, looks like part of a Nerf gun or something. Over here, another router. Uh, nothing else at the bottom of there. And this side, I think we've reached the bottom as well. I just scooted this tote out of the corner and I'm telling you now, it weighs about two million pounds. It's supposed to be like a deadlift, you know? What do they say? Quick jerky motion using only your back and not your legs, right? Right. <laughs> I'm joking. Please don't take me serious. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's why, huh? These are yearbooks? No. Look, what is this? This That's one's a yearbook. yearbook. This is a yearbook. This is a Far Cry 4 game guide. These are a lot of game guides are what they are. Game Informer, which are like a magazine game stuff used to send up. These right here are yearbooks. So we'll make sure, even though I know some people are going to tell me, you can sell them for money. You can, but I just like to leave them behind and make sure they get it back. I'm going to go through this tote right here. This is a Pixma printer. Probably doesn't work. This little box here. Uh, whoa! Hold on. Look at that. Whoa. All kinds of jewelry. What's that? It That's looks like gold, gold flakes. These are 24 karat gold, pure gold. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of these. Look at these. These are all 24 karat pure gold. No idea what those are worth. There's another one over there. So we have seven of them actually. I'm just gonna take out this pair of Deadpool socks. And let's look at some of these watches here. This one says, I can read it. Can you read it? Uh, L, I can't. <laughs> that one. Then this guy here says, let me just look at it. Ocean Sport Watch, but it's not spelled like, that might be coins. Hold on. I think this might be coins. Please, please be coins. How do I open this sucker? That definitely sounds like silver. Yeah. Squeeze. Okay, let's squeeze it. 
There it Can is. You? Oh, it's rings, but they do sound like silver. You see that? Let's see if it's got a marking on the inside after you get a look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 925. These are silver. Some silver rings. That one, a skull, and just some diamonds there. And over here, there's another watch. Another. This one is a <clears throat> Craveville by Belova. Belova is a pretty good brand there. Man, this is crazy. This is a lot of stuff. I was not expecting this stuff in here. So literally just a box of gold and silver. How do you beat that? Okay, that kind of got me carried away. I forgot we had the rest of the tote, which has, looks like some action figures. What in the heck is this? This looks like the old ninja weapon where they, there's a ball and chain at the bottom and this is at the top. I don't know what it's called. If we look in here, still see a bunch of cars and figures and just random little toys. Next tote, guys, if you're still watching the video, go leave a comment that says this storage unit is the best right now. I love seeing how many of you guys actually make it as far to the video when they're this good. This feels like it's gonna be a Bible. So let's see. Yep, I always make sure they get their Bibles back, but I always do like to flip through it because somebody always tells me in the comments, people hide money in Bibles. And we've been buying storage units for now over five years and I haven't found one dollar in any Bible. So I don't know if I believe it yet. Here's a little bear. What are these here? Hmm, it's a really flat box. Ah, oh, nothing, beautiful. That's not nothing, that's got something in it. Let's see, a taken apart phone of some kind. Alrighty, there's that. And then we got, is this, for people that know, is this what Chucky was based off of? Like Child's Play? Because I mean, there's just too many similarities for it not to be, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like that's what he was based off. Little Garfield, Life One. Is that a phone? Or is that, that was the phone that we just found taken apart? No, no phone in there, just the pieces to it. Ah, come here. Alright, this right here, same thing, Motorola. Please, 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 please. Nah, nothing. Then let's go in here. It looks like a lot of clothes, but there could be something buried in there. Oh, what is that? Is that a lockbox? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, is there C? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, no. You know, ready? You ready for me to hawk this? Yeah. <laughs> I can't hawk oh, it. Almost, almost. <laughs> I don't hear much though. I feel like there's some little, something very little in there. Why would they have that? Oh. We're gonna figure that out. What's over here? BBs. There it is just clothes. And what about on this side over here? It is just clothes. Okay, so no, 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 no. we gotta change our attention here <laughs> to this sucker. Do I just break? I mean, may as well. It sounds like it could be empty. So in that case, magic trick. Ready? Opens it right up. And dang it, it is empty. Unfortunately, I just tried to lift this tote. There's another one that weighs about 500 pounds. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay. And I see comics. So first off, what is this? What is that? Does it like look like a board game or is there something cool in there? Let's see, open up. Pencils, <laughs> definitely not cool. Who used, who used to pencil fight in school? I know I did. Oh, there's more Dragon Ball Super. All these Blu-ray covers, but we can't find the freaking actual DVDs. Oh, look at this old Spider-Man here. So this looks like it's gonna be some comics from over here. Or at least some books, look at the Doom books. Lizzie McGuire. This is like a swear, like I said, a time capsule from like the late 90s, early 2000s. These are all game magazines and game guides. Look what happened to this poor tote that was just under that two million pound tote. Didn't quite make it, huh? Mm -hmm. Nah, but it's just clothes from what we can see. Lots of jeans though, but pre-owned clothes like that, I don't feel like dealing with. We just take them and donate them. Let's go to this one here. While we're in here, I'm just gonna bring it right down. Ugh. Ah. I knew this was coming eventually. Boo. I was kind of hoping it wasn't, but every storage unit has clothes. I don't know why people keep so much clothes. Just throw them away. <laughs> like, let's go in here or donate them or something. Oh! Whoa. Whoa! That's a Crossman BB gun. Ah! But that's why you check. Same thing. Why you check clothes. Is it fire? It is unloaded, but it does fire. <laughs> Man. <laughs> let's go in here a little further now since that's just sitting in there with the clothes. You can be guaranteed I'm gonna search these clothes intensely before we bag them up and donate them I'm anywhere. Sure. <laughs> just know that. Let's put that right here. Ugh. Go to this guy. Hey, oh! Whoa, oh. more. That's pointing at me, I don't like that. Well, there goes another one right here. Look at that, two in a row. Now let's get, oh man, this is heavy. I'm gonna put it right here, all right? Because me being 6'5", putting it on the floors doesn't work very well. Oh look, they spelled clothes right. Yay! <laughs> Not? Winter clothes. 
This is what you wear in the winter. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, what is this? I have no He looks so familiar. That, oh, look at this ax. Like a weird Humpty Dumpty. Oh. Thing. Hey, beautiful. That's, that's just awesome. Look at that, that's what, four guns so far? I think we've gotten four guns? Four, I think, yeah. All right, let's pull, tilt it this way. We got, oh my gosh, the knives in here are crazy. There's one, there's, oh my gosh, look at this. That's sick. These are throwing knives, I think, three of them too. That is so cool. All right, let's go down in here a little more. Ooh, jewelry box. Is that Legend of Zelda jewelry? What? Oh, it's not in there. Is this a butterfly? No, it's a big old Tom, it's like a razor. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Let's go deeper. Some comic books, more knives. And then it's probably 20 knives in here, just on their own. What about over here? This is a giant Funko Pop. It's the Century Bot from Fallout. I hate these things, they always kill me. Those, that is another old camera. Why? Why? Let's see what else is down here. Oh my gosh, loot crates. I remember getting these. I found these before quite a few times in units. There's some of it still left in here, look. Some of the buttons and other pieces. That's pretty cool. What is this big thing here? I see it. Nothing? Okay, anything else buried deep within this box? I feel like they really well could be. I see it's another loot crate. I mean, there's probably 15 knives just chilling down there. And this is a calculator. Other than that, I think, man, look at all the knives. I'm taking my 15 back. There's more like 25 knives in there. This unit is just awesome. One more tote in the corner, but we also got a full body mirror, one of those little spinny ACs, two of the four locks. Now oh, look, this is a jar painted black. It's got about 50 cents worth of pennies in it. Nice. Man, we got money, guns, weapons, safe. This is this. No, no, everything. Everything. Last tote, come on, no clothes. No, more magazines. That's oh my Nickelodeon. Gosh. I was about to say, this is 90s Nickelodeon heaven. The Splat. Oh, it's a comic Brandon book. Steppy, Arnold. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's mine. This is just beautiful. I'm gonna color. Gotcha. <laughs> and the rest of it is some composition books. And oh my gosh. The scary, scary stories. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. You're only a real 90s nerd if you know what these were. These before you can just go on Google and get your cheat codes. They used to release these books that have cheat codes for all <laughs> the games. They used to sell them at the Scholastic Book Fair. I used to get these all the time in elementary <laughs> school. Man, this was a time capsule. Man, that was an epic storage unit.